Well, the Victorian government has named the date for the opening of the first section of Melbourne's Sky Rail. Live now to reporter Andrew Lund. Andrew, trains there will be running in just a few weeks. They will indeed, Jane. There's still a fair bit of work to do, but the government says that trains will start running on the Noble Park section of SkyRail from February 15. Now, that will take the busy Dandenong line up over three uh, current level crossings uh, and hopefully uh, make uh, train journeys more reliable. Now, the level crossing gates will close for the last time on January 29. The reason there's two different dates is, be is because the Dandenong line, which is the busiest in Melbourne, will be closed for two weeks between Westall and Dandenong to allow engineers to join up the tracks, the power system and the signalling on the new viaduct to the existing tracks. These uh, couple of weeks of frustration, they really are worth it because what it's going to mean then uh, is that we have those three level crossings gone forever. They should have been gone a long time ago but they'll be gone forever in just a few weeks time. Now, the decision to elevate the rail lines rather than putting them underground was quite a controversial one, but Premier Daniel Andrews seemed very happy with what he saw here today. This is his own electorate. Um, there are two other sections of SkyRail viaduct uh, still to come. Uh, they're due to open later in the year. Uh, today's announcement came as data was released showing that the level crossing removals that have been completed have resulted in an average travel time saving of just one minute for car drivers. The government says that's not a fair measure measure given that as it stands some people will sail through level crossings while others will have to stop from anything from a minute to 10 or in the worst case 20 minutes. Uh, Jane, so uh, some uh, significant developments uh, to come here along the Dandenong line.